If you were fortunate enough to catch Ray Brown during the last several years of his life, he had been known to play a really beautiful and amazing unaccompanied solo on the double bass. The solo was very rubato in nature with a lot of cadenza type passages, but it was bookended by Louis Bonfa's Black Orpheus with a large portion of an original composition that he wrote for a larger jazz ensemble and solo bass called Afterthoughts, specifically the second movement. This was an amazing, joyous, grooving, and virtuosic piece of music, if you ever got to hear it. Now, I can find two versions that exist on YouTube right now. One is from 1991, and one is from later, closer to 2000. The transcription that I'm kind of presenting to you right now is almost a fusion of both. I was lucky enough to be one of the bass players that participated in a Ray Brown tribute that happened here in Pittsburgh in October of 2019, and I really wanted to play this piece, so I borrowed elements from both solos, but it's mostly the solo from 1991. Now talking about transcriptions, you should know that mine isn't perfect. I'm sure many of you are gonna find maybe wrong notes or wrong rhythms. In that sense, the transcription is very personal. Uh, it's not meant to be a perfect representation, but my own snapshot. And in that case, I'm gonna get far more out of doing the transcription than you might ever will playing the transcription. But that's something we can definitely talk about in a future video because transcriptions are super important if you're trying to learn how to play jazz. Take special note as you follow along. I left out chord changes. Sometimes I like my students to try to figure out what those chord changes are, but they are an essential part of any transcription. I also left out dynamics, tempo changes, and most of the expression marks are not indicated. Therefore, there's a lot of stuff you have to figure out beyond the notes and the rhythms. In my humble opinion, this solo should be studied in the same way we study Jimmy Blanton playing Body and Soul or Oscar Pettiford playing Stardust. It is the synthesis of Ray's sound, his virtuosity, his grooving time, his joyful spirit, and his language, not just as a jazz bass player, but as a master double bassist. Check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below.
Thanks for watching. I'd appreciate it if you could smash that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, you know what to do. Every week, all original, jazz, bass-centric content coming at you as fast as I can do it. Until next time, take care of yourself and please love your neighbor.